think our marriage is doomed. Yea, that I walk over the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Mr. Wigglypants here. Hey! Who would have thought our 10th anniversary we'd walk around a graveyard? <laughs> He did some other cool things. If you are just dropping by for the first time, my husband and I are celebrating 10 years of married life in beautiful Switzerland. Plot twist. We brought our two wiggly children, so instead of celebrating with romantic dinner cruises on the Seine and enjoying Nutella crepes in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower, like we did for our sixth anniversary, we were now playing Go Fish from our Airbnb balcony and eating our Nutella crepes while sporting baby carriers and trying to keep track of speedy five-year-old legs. But hey, we wouldn't trade it for the world. We love these little humans. She likes you, bud. Our first two days in Switzerland, we were trying to pack in as much as we could before the rain came. So now we were taking things a bit slower, exploring Sempac in Lucerne, and then heading off to Emmental Valley where our forefathers suffered much persecution for their faith. We tried to explain it to Xander in five-year-old terms, but I'm not sure if he quite got the memo. So did someone shoot them all or did they just come become good people? If you want to learn a bit more about Mennonite history, specifically Anabaptists, stick around. Do you have any seahorses? Oh, go fish. <laughs> Dad, do you have any dolphins? Go fish. Go fish. Sharks. <laughs> it's another beautiful morning. We're walking around Sempac, just Xander. Nolan and I. Lexi's sleeping. The girls slept in this morning, so they're still getting up and around. So they're taking care of her, and we're going out for an exploration. This is gonna be a good day. There's rain and stuff in the forecast, but we'll see what happens. That castle, um, uh huh. No other windows in the arrow. They tried to shoot people at the bottom. Really? Yeah. And Where? The, and the, from whatever window, and then the people from the bottom, they don't get hit. They try to shoot back up to him. That like, castle? Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Was dad telling you that? Yeah, he told me. That's a lot of castles in Europe. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I see a church. Ding dong, ding dong. Amazing cookies. Maybe it's just a little bit like having a bull in a china shop. <laughs> come on, come look at this. Thank you so much. Woo. You get the first bite. Mm. The thing that's so amazing with the food over here, like their pastries and stuff, it's just like the perfect hint of sweetness. It's just a kiss. Instead of like in the States where it's just dead sweet but makes you sick. That was incredibly yummy. Mm. So guess who decided that it's time to pop two new teeth? Just because we're in Switzerland. Bada! Two little toothies coming through. See if we can get it on camera. Most times babies that are cutting teeth, they just cry and fuss all day long and she didn't do much at all. I mean, she was more fussy than normal, but that was still pretty minor for everything we did yesterday, right? We're gonna go walk along the lake and wear the children out a little bit. Today we want them to get a nap. And then Nolan and I are gonna go and explore the town of Lucerne. And the girls are gonna stay here while the children sleep. Can you tell me what you got? A seashell. It's a tiny bit, some kind of animal broke it maybe. Okay. So that one. I'm collecting seashells for my collection. All right. We are child free, headed into Old Town of Lucerne. We was looking for parking and it's so fun. I can understand part of the German word, like Parkhaus Altstadt, which I understood that, Old Town. So, it is a sprinkly rainy day. The rain is coming. And I hear there's supposed to be snow this weekend, so we might get a little bit of everything when we're here. Schnee, Eichen Schnee. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? When he moved back from um, Oregon to PA, he started working with a bunch of Dutchy people and I had worked so hard at getting rid of my Dutch accent. Then he starts like making fun of like the Dutchiness and always like imitating, just being super Dutchy. Don't you know 
it's creeping totally back into my accent. Anyway, it's all his fault. <laughs> and he actually sounds like it too. He's starting to sound Dutchy and he's, he doesn't even know how to speak. PA Dutch, not like the Netherlands Dutch. PA Dutch, which is basically a German dialect. Enough of that. We're going on a date. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. There's the gossip. Oh, that looks cool. You're my sunshine every morning. Light up every morning. Make my every dream come true. Oh, that's some steps. Oh, I can't describe it. Took my tongue and tied it. Send my heart over the moon. We're walking along, I believe it's called the wall, like along the towers for a better view. It come fly away with me. Imagine all the things that we could see. Yeah, don't you know that life's a dance? Come take my hand and fly away with me. I think I can fit. Oh, I'm sweating like a stuck pig. Okay. We're definitely gonna have to bring Xander back here. When we come back with everyone else, he's gonna love this. All these towers and stuff. And this one right here, we wanna go up yet tonight and have a view of the city. We didn't go the whole way up. We're just kind of quickly walking around. We wanna get some coffee yet and check out some of the other bridges before I have to go back. Time flies when you're having fun. We are in the, I'm not sure how you say it, Spreyer, Spreer Bridge. But it's got a bunch of paintings that are, that are kind of, like themed on the Black Death. So it's a lot of dark scenes of death, embracing people and so on. We were seeing our parking garage right over here. I said, Nolan, we should drive up to the top so I can send my drone off. He said he's gonna feed the baby when you're in jail. <laughs> Crack me up. Lucerne is especially well known for its wooden bridges, so we began our walk along the river to get to Lucerne's landmark, the world famous chapel bridge and water tower. The chapel bridge is considered to be Europe's oldest covered bridge. It was built in 1332 and was originally a part of the city fortifications. The pictorial panels which were incorporated in the 17th century contain scenes of Swiss history as well as Lucerne's history. There's one major problem I have with these places. There's just so many photo ops, I just have a hard time stopping. I need to just stop and spend time with my hubby. This bridge is so pretty. Go get lost in a little town. Get dressed up and just drive around. Get both feet on some solid ground. I'm gonna fill this bucket up to the top. No one's getting a big thing. I was gonna get like the small one and say, let's split the small one, like the second small, and he got like, no, let's do the big one. So the bridge is right here with all the beautiful flowers. Got a table right along the water. We're really pushing it for time, but we need to get back and get to our kiddos. Oh my yeah. goodness. That's a lot. Yeah, if it was mine, I think I would've just went with caramel and vanilla. You're a very vanilla guy. And vanilla's, it's hard just to brew on. on. Yeah. View. Right up there is the city wall tower where we were. The middle one is the clock tower we were not there, right? The middle one? I think so. Yeah. That's the one at the end though. That one has a clock on it. But you're right, it is a middle one. So we are back with Mr. Wiggly Pants here. Hey! And this little lady. <laughs> I see water fathers. One, two, three, four, five. There's five waterfalls. Look at that. Come out. Oh, 
What is it? Gushes, those are gushes. That one died. That one died. Look. There he went. Remember when we did this in Alaska and you went, where's he going to pop up next? Remember? Oh, yeah. Where's he going to pop up next? This view of the Chapel Bridge is just amazing. But all Xander wants to do is look at ducks. Yeah, I'm gonna say because I wanna feed them. You wanna feed the ducks. But I can't wait to feed the ducks. No, you wanna ducks. feed the ducks. See you and enjoy together. Thank you. Pass it on a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know what you are. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Ooh. I'm good. I am packing up after four nights of being here in Sempak, Switzerland. Traveling with a little baby and another child, but especially a little baby, adds a whole other dynamic to packing and making sure you've got everything. So today the rain finally showed up that they were calling for. And thankfully today is a traveling day. We're planning to take a roundabout route back down to Lauterbrunnen and we're going to go through the Emmental Valley. Now the Emmental Valley is where like the Mennonites, Anabaptists, a lot of our roots come from. We definitely have a lot of history here, so it is interesting to go and just check out a few things. There's one big disappointment for me on this trip. Before I came, I started digging into my roots a little bit. I couldn't find much on my dad's side, but I did find out on my mom's side, there's a little town called Oberholz. Her maiden name was Oberholzer. Our roots go back to this little town and it's still called Oberholz to this day. So we're not going to get to go because it's just too much driving. It's in the opposite direction. I guess we're gonna have to skip that. Super disappointing. Maybe something will come up yet that we will, but I kind of doubt it. We've been married 10 years today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today is actually your 10th. That's your card. Oh, you're amazing. Thanks, babe. How are those little toofies this morning? Look at those little chompers. Yeah, look at that. Goodbye, little house. You've been good to us. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. They maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yay! It's a perfect day for the road. I will take us home We'll take it easy, we'll take it slow It's a good day for the road We are in the Emmental Valley and we stopped by this cheese factory Perfect thing to do on a rainy day Stir and stir the milk with ease 
I stir and turn the milk to cheese The fresh milk in my Emmentaler Is from the local milking parlor To give that cheese that special charm We source from regional dairy farms I stir and stir the milk with ease I stir and turn the milk to cheese it's Ooh, I wonder what that is What's so interesting is over here in Emmental, where this, I think the Swiss whole cheese originated from, they use raw milk. And back in the States, it's, you can't sell raw cheese. If I'm remembering, at least in our state, like there's so many laws and restrictions around raw milk, raw cheese. I think you can, if you have like a special, if you're part of a special membership group and not technically in a store or something. That's one thing I just love about over here is their quality of food. Like they know their stuff. I wish the states would catch on to like good wholesome food. Raw cheese. That was so interesting. So everyone across the land can take a look and see. I place the cheese in a salt bath for two days. Then I wash and dry it before taking the wheel to the fermentation cellar to ripen. So crazy. Mom. Yeah. This food is absolutely amazing. This salad is one of the best I've ever had. It's like croutons, bacon, eggs, an incredible like light ranch sauce, I think. And Nolan got like a chicken with an apple glaze. So amazing. We are at, I think it's Schloss Trosswald Castle? Trosswald. Good talk, anyway, my dumb and Hammond. Good talk, my dumb and Hammond. What's he saying? Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> no. There's definitely so much history here in Switzerland with our roots. If you're not familiar, like the whole Anabaptist movement sparked out of the Great Reformation. Anabaptist means rebaptizers. They believe that um, we should be baptized upon confession of faith and not as infants. There's other things along with that as well. But anyway. Um, they were persecuted very much by the church and so they were hunted down a lot and they would be uh, martyred for their faith, beheaded, put into these horrible torture chambers stretched out on racks and stuff. Anyway, so this place right here is one of the towers where Anabaptists were imprisoned. There's other places we were hoping to go but once again it's because of the weather it didn't work out like this cave up in the mountains um, where Anabaptists would actually go and gather and worship. We were going to go there, but once again, weather didn't permit. Anyway, and then we had been looking up things in Bern. There's all kinds of history stuff in Bern, but we're only getting to a few of these sites. Just not enough time. time ago uh -huh. there was people that loved Jesus and wanted to do what the Bible said uh -huh. and there was other people that didn't want them to do that yeah and they would chase after them and catch them uh -huh. and they'd bring them here and tie up their hands and feet we'll show you where it was upstairs and they were terribly mean to them sometimes they'd even kill them that's what we're looking at here this is what you were talking about in the barn I think Oh yeah, the Anabaptist hideout. Well, I guess they have it here too, probably. Huh? Oh, look at that. I wonder if it's far from here. Is it scary? Whoa, what? this is steep, isn't it? What? Now, where did they put them in prison? So this is just all cells, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Tall. You'd use wood to keep people in. Isn't that just awful? And you'd only have that little window to look out. Wouldn't that be scary? Yeah. Yea, that I walk over the valley of the shadow of death. I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me. I write in my staff, they comfort me. Place the table before me. I in the presence of my enemy. I notice my head with oil, my cup runneth over. And surely goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. 
I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You hear? Ding dong cowbells. Look at this. Alright. Shoot them all, or did they just come become good people? Some of them started to love Jesus, and some of these, a lot of these people died. So we can be so thankful that we live in a country uh -huh. that we can love Jesus, and nobody puts us in places like this. And we can be so thankful for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the people that do get in here, feel, we feel sorry for them. I know we do. It was a long, long time ago. I was here back in 2010 with a, like an Anabaptist tour group. If I'm remembering correctly, I signed my name at the top. So I'm really curious to see if we can find it when we get up there. So this is the steps I remember going up. A little tiny around we go. You wanna come up? Yeah. Okay. Look at this, this is tight. We're up very, very top. This is where they had Mike and Shackles when we came up, I think. They have the stocks the, the, there. Huh? Boy, there's a lot of names. Lots of Yoders, Millers. Here's Kevin Reif, 7903. This is my cousin. Krupps, Millers, Burkholders, Peachy, Hirschbergers. A lot of Mennonite names. This is like the place we all come to see, I guess. Nathan Overholt. My favorite school teacher was here. Nolan's headed down to get a pen. Today's our anniversary, we need to put our name up here. But I'm still hunting for mine. I'm positive I would have wrote my name up here. Yeah. Okay, where do you want to write your name? Xander. You remember right where that is and sometime when you're maybe in your 20s, you'll come back here and say, yeah, I was here when I was five. Ooh, girl, you're I cannot find my name anywhere, but Nolan and I left our name up here. Xander left his name right here. This is the stairs going down. Woo! 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 very interesting. I wish we could visit a few more sites while we're here, but I guess not. We're now headed to one of the oldest Anabaptist churches that is still operating today. Right next to it is like a graveyard and you can find a lot of like the names we're familiar with with Mennonites there. So it's kind of interesting and to see how they kind of change too. So we're going to walk through that and then after that we're headed back to Lauterbrunnen. This is I think the church. So we are here in this town. This is one of the oldest Mennonite churches that is still operating today. Anyway, we were thinking of coming here for church, but we're not sure yet because it's going to be a good bit of a drive back from where we're staying and everything will be in German. This might seem really weird to y'all, but it's very interesting for <laughs> people in our culture anyway to come over here and see a lot of the names that the Mennonite culture has over in the States. Bon Gardner. And this is a Schneider. Here's a Seagrist. There's some Mennonite. That's not as popular. Oh, okay. Is. Here's a Whitmer. Oh, wow. There's some Laymans. Laymans? Yeah. Graber, Gerber, Hofstetter. Here's a Schmucker. Hofer. Nunschwander. Trotting around all the roads. <laughs> so much for the rain. It's a narrow road, but I'm bound to go to see. There is a shame. But I've got to go. I want to see your face. Michael Mosley. There's a Stauffer. Look at that.
Who would have thought our 10th anniversary we'd walk around a graveyard? <laughs> we did some other cool things. Like go to Torture Tower. <laughs> I think our marriage is doomed. We didn't really plan to have all this stuff on our anniversary. It just so happened to be the day we're driving from our first place to our second. And we were able to kind of make it, include it in the route. Uh, European vans are definitely a lot more car size than in the States. When we're moving between locations, we hardly have enough room. So I'm not sure exactly where Xander's at, but we might be able to find him back in here somewhere. Is that him or is that luggage? Where's Xander? I see him. Oh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Keep left to stay on E. Oh, I know I can say it's a really good day to be alive. Can't help flying away, it's a really good day to be alive. Oh, the sky is blue, taking in the view. I know I can say it's a really good day to be alive. It's a really good day to be alive. It's a really good day to be alive. <laughs> We have made it to Lauterbrunnen. This was the place I was looking forward to the most. And we are actually right in front of the falls. What'd you say it's called? Starbuck. Starbuck? This is amazing. We have like this little seating area here, a kitchenette with full amenities. We even have washer and dry. We all need to get clothes washed. This is the lounge area. These kids obviously aren't used to TV. <laughs> They're watching a boat show, which I figured was pretty safe. The inflatable love scene film. The shipyard states that it can reach up to 50 knots. So today, it's the first one is the first one. And the second one is the bastard. I can't begin to describe how incredible this location is. It is so beautiful, and now I just can't wait until the rain clears out. Hopefully, we'll still get some amazing views because there's like mountain peaks out this door that we can't see right now. We did see him the other day when we were here. They're actually calling for snow this weekend, so we'll see if that happens. He is gonna go paragliding if the weather holds out. <laughs> Are you excited? Maybe it'll rain. <laughs> no, I am excited. The best parts of our trip are yet to come. <laughs> So if you wish to see what all Switzerland has to offer, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video.